Hi, this is day two of my HHO experiment. This is the dry cell. It is hooked up to a 12 volt battery now. It's pulling about 15 amps. And I have a line out going into my tank. And then a line back in going back into the tank. So this is a continual system that will keep fresh content in the dry cell right here. All right. Out of the tank, I have one line out. Normally, this would go to a bubbler, which is either this piece or, for me, it's going to be that piece right there. And that bubbler will separate any of the liquid uh, from the gas. All right? And currently, I have a line out, and it's going right into this tank. And you see the bubbles there. That's quite a, quite a bit of bubbles. That's over a liter a minute now. And this is very flammable gas. So I'm going to show you just how flammable by putting a right. see that's pretty flammable stuff, so you gotta be very careful. Alright. Hi. Uh, second part of this video. Uh, I finally got around to installing the HHO system on my Ford F-150 2003 truck that uh, the best I've ever got is 14 miles to a gallon and that's highway at about 70 miles an hour. Uh, and I ordered this kit, had the kit, and finally installed it tonight and my, I'll show you my installation. And the engine's running right now with a kit going. Here I have my reservoir, and and then below that I have my the actual uh, uh, generator, and that's a fuel cell. It's a 21 plate fuel cell, stainless steel fuel cell, and it has uh, two lines going from the reservoir into the uh, generator. One side coming out, you can see the bubbles there. The bubbles coming out back into the reservoir, and from the reservoir, they go out through this line right here, up around, and into a bubbler. If you see the bubbler, that's generating hydrogen and oxygen gas, and from there, it goes into my intake manifold. And you see, I got a problem with my intake manifold, is that this bends 90, and as this plastic line gets warm from the engine, it uh, is going to bend and decrease, and that's going to restrict my air intake. So I'm going to have to fix that. But uh, in my electrical system, I have a relay off of my uh, off of my uh, uh, fuel pump, electric fuel pump, and it goes around and connects to this relay right here, which uh, is it, when that relay kicks on, it connects the positive wire down to the uh, fuel cell. And I have a 30 amp fuse on this. And uh, 30 amp fuse is right here. And this runs, it's running probably, it feels like about maybe 90, 98 degrees or 100 degrees. Uh, so that's not too bad. Uh, and uh, that's my installation. And I wanted to a Valero gas station and i was using the low speed on the fill. And when it clicked off, I stopped. And then I uh, drove it on the highway. I drove 41.6 miles and drove to the same gas station and used the same pump and the same speed. I filled it up again. And driving 41.6 miles, I used 1.991 gallons. So that's less than two gallons to go 41 miles. That came to uh, 20.89 miles to gallon. Believe me, I've never done that on this Ford truck. I plan to uh, run it uh, for another week 